Hello, hello, hola, amigos. How are y'all doing today? <clears throat> so welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk and do a Manny. Last night I was so exhausted and I never, I like finished the video, but I was so tired. I went to bed like right after I ended out the video. Excuse me. Last night was probably the best night of my life. Or not the best night, the best sleep of my life. Anyway, um, so we got ourselves some good old pasta here that I had for lunch. I just finished eating my lunch. This is tomato sauce. It has, um, I have macaroni in here. And it has some basil in it and some tomato, tomatoes. And it has some herbs and parsley. And I don't know what all. But it's a really, really good... Um, tomato sauce or like for spaghetti or whatever so i forget it's, it's a four cheese recipe it also has cheese in it i forget who makes it it has like a vintage like lady on it i'm i thinking um um tomato pasta sauce tomato pasta sauce jar I'm sure I'll find it here. It's Rinaldi. So um, it's Fran, it's Franz, Francesco. How do you say that? Where, where is it? I can't see. So yeah, so Fran, Francesco or Francesco Rinaldi um, pasta sauce. Really, really good, amazing pasta sauce. And I buy their four cheese or maybe it's three cheese. When all the four cheese, I thought that was four cheese. Naughty four cheese tomato sauce. I don't know. It might be three. It's it's some kind of three cheese or four cheese. I don't know. Anyway, and it's it's tomato sauce. Really, really good. But we're gonna talk a little bit about last night. We're going to sip on a Coke, and we are going to do my nails. Um, we did my full phone last night, a full on theme, and we did a Christmas tree on here, and then we did over on here a full on look, and we have wreaths, and my nails are so dry. They need some lotion after they're, after they're taken care of here. They need to get some, some new nails on. Ouch, that is a rough nail. Anyway, so I'm going to be using these today that I bought yesterday. My nails are like really annoyed right now because they were in water. Anyway, if you guys don't know, I do have nail psoriasis. So that's why my nails kind of look crusty and dusty, but they don't, they're not look as bad as they used to. They used to be like all cut in the bottom and like destroyed and like so thick up in the air. They're a lot better now. So anyway, we're going to use these acrylic nude Bring the Salon Home Kiss Salon acrylic acrylic yes and these actually are acrylic um nude nails revolutionary natural nails with flex fit technology ultra flexible flawless fit and no bubbles and these are like the best nails i've ever had like my favorite favorite nails i've ever had are like a lot of the kiss nails that i get they just like bend and bust and i hate them but these are actually so sturdy. They actually are made with acrylic. You can see the acrylic on top. So if I show you guys one close up. You should be able to, to notice. Um, my nails look so terrible on the camera. Anyway, if you guys take a look here. You'll see that there's like a like a thick layer of like um, clear. Um, so yeah. By the way, don't mind my messy closet behind me. I have my bed in front of my closet, so don't mind that. And let's go ahead. There's two nails stuck on there and get started. So in this pack, you get your, how many nails? 12, 24, you get 28 nails, various sizes, 
you get one bottle of Kiss Pink Gel Nail Glue, which gives the nails a really pretty color underneath. It makes your nails look really nice and pink, and it's not hot pink. It's like a soft pink. It looks beautiful. And they give you a miniature file. Oh, it's both file now. It used to be a file and a buffer. Maybe they, maybe it is a file and a buffer still. What does it say you get? Apply glue to back of artificial nail. Apply glue to natural nail. Up, align with cuticle. Press on and hold for five seconds. It didn't say what it comes with. So anyway, but these are some really, really good nails. I got mine at Target. They were $6.99. So yeah, I know. Kind of pricey, but also not really. So I, I'm just going to take a minute here and just kind of like play with my nails and see if I can get any of these cuticle like i have like this hard like crap on my cuticles and it is my cuticle just like glue on my cuticle and i can't move it so i'm gonna play around here and see if i can move it before we begin but it looks like it's all stuck there like if you look on this finger it has like a thick a thick chunky crustiness of like cuticle so and it's not wanting to come off. That's pretty good enough. So anyway, let's get into this. I got to pick out my sizes. I already know my sizes. My thumbs are zeros. My pointers are... Is that a zero? Ooh. Ooh. Um, so one. Uh, it was my middle finger. Uh, my thumbs are zero. My pointers are... Really, they're twos, but I make a three fit because my ring finger is bigger than my pointer finger. So the two has to go for my ring. So thumb zero, pointer three, uh, middle one, ring two, and pinky four or five. I just look and guess at that point. So there's my middle finger. Let's do this one. I think this is a zero. Yep. Okay. And the two goes to my ring finger. Gotta find our twos and our threes. There's a three that goes to my pointer finger. There better be another two in here. I've had problems where I've like I've been missing a certain like size. And it's just like not fair. And if I yeah, I better be in here. This is another two. So I just need a three. So I'm guessing it would be this one, maybe I'm thinking. Yeah. So we got all of them. And then I don't know, what size is this? A four. Let's try a four. Four on my pinky is sidewall to sidewall, but how's a five look? Because the four kind of seems like big. That's a six. Or is a five? <clears throat> That's a, a five. Five is actually sidewall to sidewall. Okay, so let's do a five. That fits a lot better. It's not so big. <laughs> um, what is this one for? What is this one? A four. What is this one? A five. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so five fingers each hand, ten nails total, and that means there eight. There's eighteen left, which I always keep for a while because of like the pinky breaks. I can replace the pinky, but every other finger, there's no sizing who's going to fit now. But I do always keep them just in case my pinky breaks. But these I don't think are going to break, so I can just throw them in the garbage can. So I'm going to twist off this glue to open it. And we are going to go in here real quick and buff my fingernails, my natural nail. Okay. 
And I want to move you guys down here. Well, my cover, then you guys can see my nails more. Because the white. This shirt's so wrinkly. Don't mind me. I was just painting my bedroom door and my closet door and my sister's bathroom. So we're not really all that well today. And we're just going to lightly file away any natural shine. Even though there hardly isn't nine anyway. I also file away most of that dried up old glue off of my nails. Okay. Look at these nails. Ugly. Okay. So let's go in with our zero first. We're going to check out the fit. Looks pretty good. Make sure there's not a lot of dust. And then I always, um, this is a gel, right? Yeah, it's gel. Um, I love the gel, the gel uh, nail glue, because you can actually like, lay out the like gel and put it on. With Kiss's liquid nail glue, even this is not really that gel-like. So I'm going to let that gel just like sit there. And then I'm going to go down my middle of my finger here. And do one line of glue, one line on the one side, a little drop, and one drop on this side. And then I'm going to go in and then just let that just suck down and go to my finger. And these are so short and they're just so simple. I love them, um, they're so easy. And that's what I love about them. They're just so easy to do. And there we go. We're all glued down. Only problem is, though, these do glue them to, like, your skin under your nail. And it really bugs me. And I like to, like, rip it off. And I always end up having my nails like bleeding and sore because of that. So make sure not to do that or try not to do that. Like I just can't sit in the feeling like right now. So I'm going to try to hold it as much as I can. Um, but anyway. Okay. We got this entire nail ready to go on. And we're going to go in here, and I'm just going to do like a little swirly, like a candy cane swirl. You know, it is that, that season now. <laughs> and, okay, we are dripping a lot of glue. So I'm going to hurry up, and I'm going to grab that glue with my, and my other fingernail. And that way we don't stick. And then... I'm going to pinch off this air bubble. Now, the air bubble will stay in the nail, but it will pinch it off at the tip of the nail. That way, no air, no water and stuff can actually get inside. At worst, just condensation. And there we go. As you can see, it's like they're like a natural pink. They're not very much crazy, but these definitely do have that like a acrylic sound and feel to these nails. Okay, and then we're gonna test out the pointer finger, and then we're gonna pop this one on as well. Okay, the back is very flexible and the tip is very strong and sturdy. So these are not gonna come off. Only thing is with this nail glue thing, it's so hard to pinch out the glue. I gotta get at least Oh, there we go. One big drop. We got it. And then I'm gonna go. I I I have I haven't I used to never do this. I used to actually put all the glue on the on the natural nail. And then I quit doing the natural nail and I would do the false nail because it was when it was nicer, didn't make a mess as much. But now I actually put it on both again because it's like it gives like that perfect spread. And everything about it, it just goes out perfectly. And I love these nails. They're so pretty. They're so natural. They're just so beautiful in general. I love them. 
Okay, and then we're going to go in with this pointer finger and do the same exact thing. Give us a nice big drop on there and then spread it out, lay it down, and then I'm going to just give us a little dollop or weird ass design. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I got some nails on my new computer. Yuck. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. No, I'll spread that one out. We don't want to get nail glue on my new MacBook, y'all. I got to clean this MacBook because I have, like little like paint dribbles on it. Okay. Okay. And there we go. There's our other pointer finger on there. It looks really great. Like I said, I had that, that crust or something back in there. So now these usually I figured I'd have to do this with. And okay, I do have a file. I, for, I was always worried about whenever I sat down here. I was worried that I did not, I would not have a nail file to do this because always for the middle finger, I have to use a one, but then I do always have to file the back edges because they're too square for my middle finger. My middle finger is very big, but it's very round. Okay. Then I just like to pinch it a little bit there. Okay. Got crap in my hand. Okay. Um, where is my... Can't pinch it again. I have that little like green crap on my fingernail. Ew. Not like a greeny. It's not um it's um the green crap off that file, like a bluish green. Okay, I'm gonna just set this down on a pinch because it's not coming out. There we go. It takes like two hands to pinch this tube. Okay, and now I guess what's going on this middle finger. And we're just fill that in with some nail glue. And then we can grab the nail, align a cuticle, let the glue spread and flatten out. Oops. Okay. And there we go. It looks straight, looks good. Pinch out any air bubbles. But yes, I've been wearing nails and I've I've never got my nails done at a salon. I've had my one my one um nail tech that I used to have come to my house. And she it wasn't even a nail tech. She was just a good old friend of mine and she just do nails. Um and she just wanted to do mine. And I would help I let her do them all the time. Um, but mostly I do my nails myself. Um my friend Melissa, she had cancer and um she had a full remission. She's doing amazing, but I just haven't ever had her come back over. She lost a lot of her energy and she gained a lot of weight and I'm not saying that in a rude way, but it just, oh, she lost a lot of weight, but then she regained from all of her resting in bed after her chemo. And it's like, I just don't want to ask her to come over and do my nails. And she hasn't offered. So I just don't ask. And you know, it's like, she just is very different now. She went through a lot. It was a big, it was a big, big, big part of her. Um, and I'm just so happy that she's here. So, but I do not ask her to come do my nails at all. Never. Not anymore. Cause like I said, she's changed. She just rests more. She quit her job. She's fully at home now. Um, they have enough money and savings that her that she has retired, and her husband is probably going to re end up uh, uh, retiring here soon. So it's like when it comes down to it, it's like I just don't ask her to come do my nails. Some people have wondered that. Um, why don't you go to a nail salon? I just don't like them. I, I just don't, 
Um, I'll tell them a certain, like if I could, like, I mean, I'm just thinking about how it could go. I'll tell them to like, Oh, I want this length. They'll make it too long. And I'm like, just a little bit more. And they cut too much. Like, I, I just like, I got to have my nails exactly the length that I want. And by doing them myself, I can get that and I'm happy with them. And it's like, I can mostly do the designs that I want. Um, or by press ons. I do do my own nails as well, but for now, we are using um, press ons. I'm not putting any glue on this ring finger. I just want to lay down this ring finger. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to add more, some more glue, just a little bit. Come on. Don't glue. <laughs> It's hard to get all the glue on. And I feel like, oh God, it's dripping everywhere. Okay, let's just stop. Hold on. Wipe all that off. Goodness. Okay. How does it fit on my other ring finger? Because this ring finger, it's too big for. This one, it's not that bad for. And just round off these corners. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, let's put it on this ring finger then. Put enough glue in there. Okay. Okay, ring finger is all on, looks good. And now we'll actually file this one to make sure it fits correctly. It's gonna be filed down quite a bit actually. outside. I think it's probably my neighbor, but didn't know if it was my mailman with an extra piece of mail or something. Hello? What is that? It's a piece of hair. No, don't tell me it's stuck under my nail. Ew. I'll get it out later. Not letting this nail just for us to a piece of hair. What is going on with this nail? It's not wanting to even lay. Come on, you dumb piece of hair. Oh, it ain't even gonna come out of there. This is always the problem with my ring fingernails. You have to get enough glue on the outer side because my ring finger is so like round, like so like arched. So you got to make sure you get enough glue on each side and you don't need much in the middle at all. So now I just got to just do a bubble there. I got it out. And that piece of hair is right there to come out too. I'm going to yank it out. I can't. It's glued down. No, there's a different one there. What the heck? Stupid hair. Okay, good enough. Now we're gonna pop on our pinkies and these are so simple. Literally takes no time hardly at all. Literally, glue's on, flip them over. Well, for some reason I don't, that one enough glue. 
gosh, I can't hardly get any of it out of here anymore. Okay. Then you just line up your nail and pop it on. And wipe away any excess glue. And you're done. Look at our full hand. They're all finished. They look incredible. Except the big ass air bubble and that one uh, ring finger. So let's let's count. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, eleven Mississippi, twelve Mississippi, thirteen Mississippi, fourteen Mississippi, fifteen Mississippi, sixteen Mississippi, seventeen Mississippi, eighteen Mississippi, nineteen Mississippi, twenty Mississippi, twenty-one Mississippi, twenty-one seconds. Well, less than that to put it on, but 20 seconds and plus more account holding. So anyway, not long for the pinky. It's so, so much more simpler than the rest of the nails. And I got nail glue on the side of my hand, but okay. We're all done here. We're all done here. I'm gonna put my nail glue back together. I'm going to lay it here in case I need it later, along with everything else to these nails now. And let's uh, continue talking. I want to share my I want to share my weekly schedule with you guys. So today was three main classes. I'm going to do some games and movies. And it's my grandmother's hair and bingo and tomorrow regular class sessions games and movies minimal finance grandma's bingo and there's no live geometry class which signing in i th i saw one in there i don't know if he just okay he removed it now so tomorrow we only have a 9 to 10 10 to 11 11 to 12 and eight, that's it we're done so we are done at 12 o'clock tomorrow because all of these are um, uh, optional. But, and then on Saturday, we have games, resting, movies, and more. Enjoying the weekend. And that's it. So, um, I'm going to get this thing out of here and just repost a new one. Just because. Let's put on a week view. And I'll re-grab. From Monday... Are you serious? Now that's going to be my way down there. No, it didn't. There it goes. Okay. And then just drag it back in there. That way it's updated. And there we go. That's it, guys. So that's what we're looking at for um, the rest of this week. And then looking into our December calendar, which I want as well, um, you guys can see that there is nothing really going on tomorrow or anything. Um, I got to just take care of some bills and stuff. And then next week, again, nothing really. Um, take care of some bills on Friday. And then the week after that, my grandfather will be back home again. He should get home on the 20th the 20th, the 20th, he should get back home and be home the 21st, 22nd, 23rd. And one of these three days, we're going to have our early Christmas dinner because he won't be home. And then on Christmas, even Christmas day, there won't be much going on. Just some really special brighter side church sessions I'm going to have. And that's pretty much it. And then we're off school on, we have a half day on Friday and then we're off on, of course, the weekend and the Christmases. And then we're off on Monday. And we're off on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And we're off on New Year's Eve. And we're off on New Year's Day. And we're off the day after New Year's. And then we are off. We have an async day on the 3rd. So we go back to school on the 3rd. But it's only just work to be completed. No live classes. And then we're all going back on Wednesday the 4th. And we go for Wednesday the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th. And we are done for that week. So... That's what we're looking at. That's what that's what's coming up here, guys. Not much to really be talking about. It's pretty basic, actually. So 
so yeah, I don't know what else really to say. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, tonight, I'm going to do some Roblox tonight. And um, maybe some American Truck Sim. And that's pretty much it. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. But yeah. So, have a good day, guys. I will catch you in my next video. Have a wonderful day. And like I said, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.